We are so proud of Adventist Health White Memorial, the first organization in Los Angeles and the only hospital in Los Angeles County to receive the prestigious Malcolm Baldrige National Quality Award. Hi, I'm Connie Vandeman Jeffrey, and this is All God's People. We have a lot of news for you this week, so let's get right to it. Every year since 1987, the Baldrige Award has recognized a select few U.S. organizations and businesses that have shown an unceasing drive for innovative solutions to complex challenges, visionary leadership, and operational excellence. White Memorial was one of six recipients of the 2019 Baldrige Award. This is the highest level of national recognition for performance excellence that a U.S. organization can receive. Over nearly two decades, Adventist Health White Memorial has worked closely with its partners in the Hispanic majority community to train more than 224 local residents in nursing. Of these, 100% received registered nurse licensing, 70% pursued advanced degrees, and 90% stayed at AHWM after three years. The result is a nursing staff that reflects the demographics of the community, providing culturally competent care in the primary language of its patients. The 2019 Baldrige Awards will be presented at a ceremony on March 24, 2020, during the Baldrige Program's 32nd Annual Quest for Excellence Conference, which will be held in National Harbor, Maryland. Congratulations, Adventist Health White Memorial. 2020 Kingdom Vision is the theme of this year's 11th Annual Adventist West Point. Why not begin this decade of ministry in your church by experiencing encouragement, education, equipping, and empowerment in three days of seminars, powerful preaching, and worship. This year, Adventist West Point is in Newport Beach, California from April 12 to 15. Early bird registration is through February 6, so be sure to click on the link in our bulletin and register soon. Who should attend? pastors, chaplains, evangelists, departmental leaders and administrators, local church lay leaders, students, and all church members will benefit from Adventist West Point. So that's just about everyone. I wouldn't miss it. Looking forward to seeing you there. Go to AdventistWestPoint.org to register before February 6 for the early bird discount. Southern California Conference is hosting a day of prayer tomorrow, Sabbath afternoon from 2.30 to 6 p.m. at the Spanish American Church in Los Angeles. All are invited to this special day of prayer as we begin this new year. If you're anywhere near Roseville, California on Sunday, January 26, you are cordially invited to the grand opening and dedication of the Northern California Conference Office at its new location at 2100 Douglas Boulevard. Ribbon cutting and a short program begin at noon. Many blessings to Northern California Conference. The Seventh-day Adventist Church is strongly committed to religious freedom for all people. A person's conscience, not government, should dictate his or her choice to worship or not. Throughout our history, our church has spoken out on issues of religious liberty. And Liberty Magazine has been a part of our witness and outreach since 1906. Liberty is sent free of charge to many lawmakers and public figures. Through our Public Affairs Department and the work of the Church State Council, Adventists are actively involved in the advocacy and defense of religious rights and employment disputes for Seventh-day Adventist Church members and many others. Your generous offering tomorrow, Sabbath, January 25, will provide continued resources to expand this vital work, defending religious liberty across our union and the North American Division. More details in our program bulletin. One final item, just 24 words long, one of the first memory verses I ever learned, Psalm 1914, is a reminder of our life together in God's grace and our high calling. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. For all God's people, I'm Connie Jeffrey.